Welcome. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the torsional rigidity for a cylindrical rod. Let's start. So we will first assume a cylindrical rod whose radius is r and the length of this cylindrical rod is l. So the length of this cylindrical rod is l. To know the value of torsional rigidity, what we will do? We will keep this end fixed and this is being rotated or you can say a couple is being applied on this end or you can say torque is being applied to twist this end. So length of this length is L, radius is R and we have applied a torque tau, torque applied. torque applied is tau and the angle by which this end is being twisted is phi. So angle of twist, angle of twist is phi. So this tau will be proportional to phi and the proportionality constant is C and C is the torsional rigidity which we will have to find an expression for that. Torsional rigidity. To find the expression for torsional rigidity, we first consider that this cylindrical row is being made of concentric cylindrical cells and one such cell is this one. Or you can say this cell is having an inner radius and outer radius and the thickness is very very small you can say infinitely small. Let's consider that this radius is this inner radius is x and it is having the thickness dx or you can say the outer radius is x plus dx. Now this end is being fixed that means this will not be twisted. Now if we draw a line here on the surface of this cylindrical cell and we call it AB. Since this end is being fixed, this end is being rotated. So by rotation this end is being moved to the another position you can call it B dash and this line becomes slightly slant. Now the angle made by this line here, it is AB line becomes AB dash. Now the center of the road here can be considered O and it is O dash. So it is O dash A and this line OB is being rotated and become line OB dash. So if this road is being twisted by an angle phi that means angle of twist will be equal to B O B dash. It is angle B O B dash and it is equal to phi. Now the angle of shear. Now the angle of shear. Angle of shear. It will be the angle B A B dash B A B dash equal to theta. Now you can see the both angle will share the same common arc. So arc for both angle it is B B dash. Now as we know that arc equal to radius into angle and arc is B B dash. For this angle of twist, the radius is x because it is a cylindrical cell and that cell has having the radius x. So it is radius is x and the angle of twist, this angle, this angle is phi. So it will be x phi. Now for the angle of shear, the radius is AB. This is being rotated by an angle theta. 
So radius is AB. That means the radius is L. So it is equal to radius here is L and the angle here is theta. Now that means the phi, the angle of twist and the theta, angle of shear are related. So you can find an expression for theta in terms of x upon L phi. Where this theta is the angle of shear and phi is the angle of twist. So it is angle of shear. Or you can say it will be the shear strain. Now we will have to find the shear stress. So how to find shear stress? Shear stress equal to force upon area. Now if the force applied to twist this rod is F the area area is the area of cross section now the cross section will be like this one it is having x and the thickness is dx so this is the area of cross section of this cell so it is equal to 2 pi x dx so the shear stress equal to force upon area that is 2 pi x dx now the quantity modulus of rigidity modulus of rigidity eta it equal to shear stress upon shear strain shear stress is f upon 2 pi x dx and shear strain is the angle of shear it is how much it is theta or this becomes f upon 2 pi x dx and theta is x upon l phi so theta is x upon l phi so this is equal to f upon 2 pi x dx into x phi upon l. It is l. So from here, we can find an expression for f. What is f? f is 2 pi eta phi x square dx upon l. Now as we have assumed that we have applied a force F in the tangential direction to rotate this road or you can say to twist this road and this is the distance from the center it is X and it is F so torque on this cylindrical shell. So torque on this cylindrical cell is F into X. So it will be equal to 2 pi eta phi upon L X cube dx. So it is the torque applied on this cylindrical cell. So you can say it is D tau. If we integrate this expression, we will find the torque applied on the whole cylinder. So we will integrate this one. So torque on the whole cylinder, or you can say on the cylindrical rod, torque on the cylindrical rod. So torque on the cylindrical rod will be tau equal to the integration of d tau equal to 2 pi eta pi upon L integration x cube dx. So variable here is x, that is the radius. So it will vary from 0 to r. The innermost cell is having the radius 0 and the outermost cell will be having the radius r. So integrating this we will get 2 pi eta pi upon L x 4 upon 4 0 to r. So it will be equal to 2 pi eta 
phi upon L R four upon four. This two to the four. So it will be equal to phi eta R four pi eta R four upon twelve into phi. So it is tau. We will compare this relation with the initial one tau equal to c phi. C. So c here is the pi eta R four upon twelve. It is called the torsional rigidity. The torsional rigidity of a rod depends on the modulus rigidity, that is the property of the substance, and radius of the rod. In case the radius is being doubled, the torsional rigidity becomes sixteen times, and the length of the rod. In case the length is being increased. The torsional rigidity decreases. In case the cylindrical rod is hollow one, if this cylindrical rod is hollow one, or you can say it is having the inner radius r one and outer radius r two with the same length, you can say the length is L. The expression for C can be derived in the same manner, but the difference here will be the limits. So difference here will be in the limits. So you can say we will drive in the same way. Tau equal to integration at e tau equal to how much? Pi two pi eta phi upon l. It will be two pi eta phi upon l. And integration r one to r two. And the integrand was x cube dx. So it will be. X cube dx. It will become x four upon four, or you can say r two four minus r one four, or you can say it will be equal to pi two pi eta phi upon l r two four minus r one four upon four, or it will be equal to pi eta r two four minus r one four upon twelve. Into phi, so it will be tau equal to this into phi, or you can say the expression for C will now become pi eta r two four minus r one four upon two l. So this is the expression for the torsional rigidity for a hollow rod whose inner radius is r one and outer radius is r two. The PDF copy of the notes of this video can be found in the description below. Thank you.